the 2025 Volvo XC90 remains a popular midsize luxury crossover. The Volvo XC90 stands out by its three rows of seats, practical technological features, and elegant interior. The optional plug-in hybrid powertrain also delivers a significant amount of all-electric range. We tested the T8 plug-in hybrid model. The powerful electric assist makes it simple to drive around town and accelerate quickly to interstate speeds. Our test XC90 accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds on our test track. That is about normal for a three-row luxury SUV. The XC90's cabin is normally spacious, with great visibility due to the large windows. The first two rows have plenty of room, while the third row is best reserved for those no larger than most toddlers. It is also simple to get in and out, and vehicles with air suspension may swiftly drop the ride height as you walk up to or exit the vehicle. Our only complaint about the XC90's interior is that it isn't particularly user-friendly. Because the infotainment system's distinct absence of physical buttons makes it difficult to use, and fiddling with hidden system settings is a laborious task that will almost likely divert attention from driving the vehicle. To make using its infotainment system simpler, we wish Volvo would adopt physical shortcut buttons. The software interface is based on Google's Android automotive system. However, iPhone owners can use Apple CarPlay on both screens by default. Users can communicate with the Google Assistant by voice via the in-dash navigation system, which is based on Google Maps. A 10-speaker stereo system with a 220-watt amplifier is standard, but two premium audio settings are available, a 600-watt, 14-speaker Harman and Carton stereo or a 1,410-watt, 19 speaker Bowers and Wilkins setup. The XC90's upright type allows for a spacious cargo area, especially when the second and third rows are folded flat. The floor is somewhat high, however the XC90's optional air suspension may be used to lower the ride height for simpler loading. Under the cargo floor, there is an area for storing plug-in charging cords and other small items, as well as backpack-sized cubbies on either side. Small item storage is limited at the front. The sleek and elegant center console features two cup holders as well as little trays. Volvo prioritized appearance over functionality while designing the cabin. The second row features easily accessible car seat anchor points for mounting child safety seats. However, there are no anchor points for car seat hook-ins on the dual third row seats. In order to facilitate putting a car seat in its proper position, we also wish the doors opened at a wider angle. The EPA estimates that ordinary XC90S with the base powertrain achieve 23 to 24 miles per gallon in combined city and highway driving. We tested the XC90 plug-in hybrid. It can travel 32 miles only on battery power, according to the EPA. That nearly matches the outcomes of our tests. On our real-world test route, the XC90 recharge covered 31.5 miles entirely on electric power. When the gas engine took over, the XC90 achieved 28.1 miles per gallon, which is somewhat better than most other luxury hybrid SUVs and on par with the EPA's estimated combined fuel economy of 27 miles per gallon. <laughs>